Yes. This is the 10th week of our summer-long deep dive into IMDb's list of the 100 worst movies of all time, and I thought it would be h hilarious fun to do uh, a deep dive into the 100 worst movies of all time. I thought it would be so much fun, a rip-roaring, exciting summer. But instead, it's been a cinematic trail of tears that I'll need years of therapy to get over. Yes. So, uh, thanks for that, Yui. Uh, now, at the top of the show, uh, what I've been doing lately is I've been discussing one of the 100 movies on the list that we will not be watching this summer uh, because we're not doing 100 episodes in a single summer, so we can't do all of the movies on the list. Uh, but not this week. This week, I want to talk about the films that are on IMDb's bottom 100 list that we will not be doing because we already did them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine movies on the IMDb bottom 100 list we have already done on the podcast way before this that's, summer. That's a hell of a, a number, though. It's pretty impressive, yeah. It's pretty yeah. impressive. And not only that, I did the research and found out the episodes. Oh, wow. That okay. We did them in for any the Pope on Film completists out there that, that just absolutely have to really complete the summer. You can go back and watch some of the episodes that we have already done. Uh, for example, I, I have them in order of where they fall on the IMDb bottom 100 list and not when we did them on the podcast. So, starting from the top and going to the bottom, and, and also, it, it, I still find this absolutely fascinating, but IMDb's bottom 100 isn't a concrete list. It keeps changing. New movies are added, new movies disappear, and so, there are all, so the numbers of where a movie is on the IMDb bottom 100 change all the time. Some of the movies that we've already done on the podcast have already disappeared from the IMDb Bottom 100 or have had their, their, the, their number change. So this is the number that they were on in the IMDb Bottom 100 list a week ago. So here you go. Number 81 on the IMDb Bottom 100 is your favorite movie in the world, Batman and Robin. Love this movie. <laughs> Does not deserve to be on that list. To be clear. At all, you fucking cretins, you. We did this in episode 41, and it was a double feature with uh, uh, Colin Jost's film, Staten Island Summer. And to be clear, I specifically remember you hating Staten Island Summer and loving Batman and Robin. So I just want everybody watching or listening to this to know that Bunny loves Batman and Robin but did not like the SNL fest that was Staten Island Summer. And that's just a travesty in my in my yes. In my mind. But that's beside the point. Bella, what are you looking for? What are you looking for? Mom had the gay glasses last. So ask mom. I do not have the gay glasses. So that is episode 41. You can track that down. It's a double feature. We've done some of those, not a lot. So there you go. Number 74 on the list is The Room. Tommy Wiseau. We did that in episode 132. That was over four years ago that we did The Room. Yes. Uh, funny story, Mark. So there's that. Number 70, which I still think is a travesty, is the 1990 Captain America movie, and that was the impetus for the entire summer. We did that recently. We yes, did the yeah. 1990 Captain America movie, and I said, this is on the IMDb bottom 100 list, and I don't think it should be there. So that gave me the idea of what other movies are on the IMDb list that aren't that bad, and then what movies are on the IMDb list, and why are they bad? And that is, so Captain America gave me the idea for the entire summer. And it's not great. It's not a great film, but also it's not that bad. It does not deserve to be on the list. Yeah, in all honesty, it's not that bad. Number 50, 
the Emoji Movie, boom, episode 162. I defended that movie just like I did Captain America. The Emoji Movie, a lot of people like to make fun of it. Oh, it's a movie just about emojis? How dumb. But it's not as bad as a lot of other kids' movies that I've been forced to watch. No. You know? It's right about the middle of the road as far as kids' movies go. It's not like the worst kids' movie of all time. Have you seen Food Fight? Yeah, really. Jesus. Or what's this, what's this new one that everybody... Uh, the Luca? Mitchelsons? I, I watched some of oh, that. Oh, the Mitchells like... versus the Machines. I thought that was cute. Yeah, I thought it was I thought kind it of was, annoying. I thought it was cute, but also, like, I'm a dad, and it seemed like the movie was just for me. Yeah. Especially because I have kids that are, you know, in college, going to college, graduating college, and, like, I barely see Emerald anymore, so, like, I understand how the dad felt in the movie, and so it really spoke to me. Hi, Eleanor. Uh, Hi, Eleanor. Hi, other mother. Hi, other mother. Thank you. So, not sometimes, dad at the moment. Sometimes, um, dad, like, every time, um, dad, he's a dress like, um, a, 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 Thank you for explaining gender to us, Eleanor. I really appreciate that. To be clear, when I have the kids try and call me other mother when I'm in the outfit and everything, it's less about, uh, I want you to refer to me by this because they use these proper pronouns and all this sort of stuff. It's more along the lines of, what if I'm covered up, if I have my face covered up and I'm trying to pass and I'm in public? And suddenly a kid comes up to me and goes, Dad, 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 I want to show you something. Dad, that's how I get lynched. You yeah. know, it's a safety thing. I mean, you have a legit concern because the hate crimes against any, any like, trans-leaning yeah. females, especially of color. Yeah. It's ridiculous, the violence. And I'm a Mexican with big boobs and a dress, so I really got to prepare myself. So just, like... They don't call me dad when I'm in the dress. It's a safety thing. I don't want to be shot to death. Yeah. I don't want to be shot with a bat. So, if, for those of you who are listening on SoundCloud or Stitcher, uh, I'm in the dress right now, and I look bad for it. So, Emoji Movie, episode 162. That's number 50 on the AMDB bottom 100. Number 39 on the list is one of our favorites, Santa Claus Conquers the Martians. We did that very early in the podcast. That was episode 58. Yes. And then it was it was episode 58 of our podcast. It was number it's number 59 in the IMDb bottom 100. We did Santa Claus Conquers the Martians fairly early. And speaking of early, number 35 on the list, Neil Bob is goblin spelled backwards. That was episode 35, and that was way long ago. Yes. Episode 35 of this freaking podcast. We wow. were only 12. Number 28. Time. Yeah, yeah. Number uh, 28 on the IMDb bottom 100 list is Cats, and that's a special one because it was so bad. We did two episodes of it, episode 250. And episode 251, and I legitimately wanted to do it for a third time this summer, but decided against it because there was just so many movies to do that I I didn't want to do a movie that we've already done twice when we could do so many new films. So you're welcome, Madonna. <laughs> Number 14. <clears throat> and would she appreciate it? Fucking no. No, she just... She just had a birthday. She turned 62. And here's the crazy thing. I'm not joking. She yeah. literally turned 62. So there you go. She has not mess messaged this podcast at all to thank us for covering her movie. Her amazing film. I, I, guess, I guess Madonna is just too good for us. Yeah. 
I cried when I saw Madonna's movie uh, swept away. But it's weird because I cried out of my butthole, which I didn't even know you could do, but apparently you can. Anywho. I, I, I cried, and then I tried to open up a vein, and then I had to be calmed down with a lot of medication. Yeah. Uh, number 14 on the list. The food fight. Remember that shit with the mascots? Yes. Wow. That was so long ago. That was episode 91. That movie is absolutely horrible. Watch that and then watch the Emoji movie and try to tell me that they both belong on the IMDb bottom 100. No. I the would watch movie. the Emoji movie again. I, I, I would need yeah. a real good reason. Like, I'm not just going to go yeah. put it on, but I would watch the Emoji movie again. You try to make sw make me watch Sweat the Way again, I'm hurting somebody. I will get violent. Yeah. Maybe, uh... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's understandable. Oh, okay. Do I have you? Yes? Okay. I got yes, you, you do. You, you did lag you. out okay. there a little bit. Yeah. Okay. And finally, number three on the list, and it's impressive that it's still on number three. Manos, The Hands of Fate. That was episode 210 of our podcast, and we saw a super high-definition uh, restoration of Manos, The Hands of Fate. And my theory was, in HD... The movie is a whole lot better, and I'm not sure if my theory was correct, but it was a lot of fun to do Manos the Hands of Fate. And I like that. So, episode 210, be sure to check that out. So, those good, sir, are the movies that we didn't do this summer in our deep dive into the IMDb Bottom 100 because we've already done them. We totes already did done do them. So, if any of you listening are like, hey, Hey guys, why didn't you do The Room? Well, shit, episode 132, go listen to it. We're on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, YouTube, SoundCloud, Stitcher, Twitcher, the iHeartRadio app, and wherever you listen to podcasts, bitches! Yep. So, go check that out. Next week, we will be talking about a 1980s sequel that is on the IMDb Bottom 100 list. We're, going, we're doing a, a, a small dive into the first movie, and how it became a hit, and then them quickly releasing a sequel, and their plans for a third one, which went nowhere because the second one did so horribly. So we're, that's next week. Join us next week for another deep dive into the IMDb Bottom 100 list. And cut on that. <laughs>